Today I'm going to tell you 10 things that you need to know before you play Project Zomboid, but before we get into that, if you want to help support this channel, please hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below any tips or tricks you have for this game. Alright, and with that out of the way, let's get into it. Thing number one is going to be turning off the oven. I'm sure a good amount of Zomboid players have experienced coming home to a burning house because they left the oven on. Turning off the oven is like the don't dig straight down rule of Project Zomboid, so always remember to turn it off after you're done with it. Thing two is don't press Q. If you've played the tutorial, you already know that this button brings death. And for those who don't know, if you press Q, your character will yell. And if you press it accidentally, you will most likely be eaten in the next few minutes, so make sure your fingers don't slip. Thing 3 is to be mindful of how much you're carrying. This has happened to me multiple times where I get excited by finding good loot, and I just snatch up everything, and then a little mini horde of zombies comes passing through and I get killed because I'm carrying like 7 guitars so I can barely move. Thing number 7 is mess around with the population settings. The default amount of zombies in the game may be a little too much for newer players, and has caused a few of my friends to quit the game, so if you're dying over and over again, I suggest playing around with the settings until you find some that are good for you. Thing 5 is be prepared for the helicopter event. If you didn't know, after about a week in the game, a helicopter will begin flying overhead and will follow you. And while the helicopter is following you, a horde of zombies is following the helicopter. So if you get caught off guard when this happens, you will be in a whole world of shit. Thing 6 is be prepared for when the water and power goes out. Your first week and a half are usually pretty easy, but when it gets towards two weeks, the electricity and water will go out. Obviously, when the water shut off, you'll no longer have an unlimited amount of water, and when the electricity goes out, all your perishable foods that are in your fridge and freezer will start to go bad. And if you aren't prepared for this, you may face some struggles. Thing number 7 is turn on aim outline in the settings. By default, when you aim a gun at a zombie, it will highlight the zombie letting you know which one you're about to hit, but this is only for guns. So if you also want this to affect melee weapons, just go into options, go to cursor, select aim outline, and click any weapon. And there you go, now an outline will appear to let you know what you're hitting. Thing 8 is going to be another options one. So if you have ever driven before, you've probably noticed that the view range is pretty short and may cause you to crash if you're going full speed, which can probably kill your character. To prevent this, there's a setting that will pan the camera so you'll be able to see more of what's in front of you. Go to options, scroll down until you see camera, and then at the bottom it will say pan camera while driving. Just click that and you're good. And now hopefully you probably won't crash as much. Or maybe not. Thing 9 is don't run everywhere. This is another huge beginner tip. Most newer players run everywhere, and it's understandable. I mean, running is faster, so why not do it? Well, because in this game your character gets tired, and the more tired he gets, the weaker he gets. So if you're just running around to get from place to place, and your character gets tired, you're gonna have a very hard time trying to kill zombies, because I can say from personal experience, no matter how good your weapon is, if your character is very tired, it'll take like 20 hits just to kill one zombie, so try walking a little more often. And finally, thing number 10 is mods. Mods are a huge part of this game. There are countless mods for this game, and if you ever get bored or feel like you've experienced everything this game has to offer, you can just download a few mods and now it's like an entirely new game. For me, the base game is enough to keep me hooked for years, but I still install mods just to add some quality of life improvements, like rain washing my clothes or being able to dance. And there you go, that's 10 things you need to know before playing Project Zomboid. There are obviously tons of other tips and tricks I didn't cover in this video, so if you have some, please comment them down below so others can learn about this game. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.